hear the DJ, it can be really scary if you have to play on real CDJ Pioneer turntables. Well, we have a good solution for you. We have something for you where you can prepare your DJ set easily in DJ Studio. And then we export the DJ Studio to Recordbox. And in Recordbox, we are going to prepare the tracks for a USB stick that you can put in the CDJ players and we can help you play a perfect DJ set. And you don't have to be an expert. So first we're gonna prepare your DJ set in DJ Studio. So let's create a project. Add some tracks to your mix and press auto mix. So what we're gonna do now is find a good transition position to go from track one to track two. And for that area, we have a transition window. It's blue and you can click it and then you can zoom in to see what the transition is doing. Zooming a little bit out and then we look for the structure in the music. I'd like to do the transition somewhere around here. So I simply grab the track and I'll move it into the transition window, more or less over there. Here is a part of the song that I also think would be nice to mix in. This sounds perfect for my first live set on real CDJs. So the next step we're gonna do, we're gonna export this prepared set to Recordbox. So in the export menu, you select exporting a DJ set, what means that we're gonna bring the music back to the DJ software. The hotcues are the easiest, so those are the ones that we're gonna use. It is important to restart Recordbox. We have written your set directly into the Recordbox database, but Recordbox isn't aware of external applications writing in the database. So make sure that you restart Recordbox at this point. So here's Recordbox and here's my Seabrand Goes Live DJ set. I am almost ready to go really live. The tracks are not yet analyzed by Recordbox. They need to be analyzed by Recordbox for your CD players to recognize them and play perfectly on the beat. So you mark all tracks in the playlist and you select analyzed tracks. Hot is on the left side and the A hot cue to start the left side. The even tracks are for the right side and are started with the B. Let's go. We play deck one and on deck one, the B is coming and exactly where the B is at the play at, we need to start in the second deck. Here we go. The tracks are now running in sync. And we wait until the C comes up. And when the C is there, we start raising the volume. And the bass is already low. Here's the C coming. So it's in there. And now let's do the bass swap. There's the C coming. There's my bass. Bass is there, and now we can uh, transition out the first song. So, we're ready with the first deck. We can stop the first deck, and now we can load the third track in the first deck. And remember, now we do the same thing at the A. So, things are now turned around. The first deck, the bass is already lowered, the volume is already down. I'll skip a little bit and here we go. The only thing you need to do is press the hot cue button at the right moment. Here we go. That's all there is, there's no magic. The tracks are running perfectly in sync because we have beat sync enabled. And now we wait for the transition window coming in and then we can start using the volume. Here's the volume. Raising the volume, volume, and we swap the bass. Woohoo! It's that easy, it's that easy. And now we fade out the volume. Hey, I did my live set, how cool! <laughs> 